Today in front of us, we have the Raspberry Pi 400 kit. This $100 ready to go kit includes everything you need except a monitor or TV to set up an affordable PC for day to day use. In this video, I will be showing what's inside the box and how to set up a PC using it. Let's get started. Inside the box, we get our first look at the Raspberry Pi 400 keyboard. Raspberry Pi 400 is available in UK and US English, Spanish, French, German, and Italian variants. This one is the UK English variant. It features a quad-core 64-bit processor, 4GB of RAM, wireless networking, dual display output, and 4K video playback. Raspberry Pi 400 is a Raspberry Pi 4 designed into a keyboard. It uses the same components as the Raspberry Pi 4, including the system on chip and memory. The keyboard design protects the board, takes up little room on your desk, and also helps to keep the cable tidier. All the ports are accessible from the back of Raspberry Pi 400, including the GPIO header and micro SD card slot. Inside the box, next is the official Raspberry Pi mouse, official Raspberry Pi power supply, and micro SD to SD memory card adapter. This red and white three-button optical mouse connects via a USB type of connector and is compatible with all the Raspberry Pi products. The official Raspberry Pi USB-C power supply is designed to power the latest Raspberry Pi 4 Model B boards. This 5.1 volts, 3 amps power supply ensures protection against short circuits, over current, and over temperature. The micro SD to SD memory card adapter can come in handy when you load a new OS on your Pi. At the bottom of the box, there is the micro HDMI to HDMI cable and Raspberry Pi official beginner's guide. Raspberry Pi 400 supports two micro HDMI ports, and you can use this micro HDMI to HDMI cable to connect a monitor to your Raspberry Pi. The 252-page official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide includes everything from projects and beginner's guides containing all the information you need to get started using your new computer. Now that all the components are ready, let's start the Raspberry Pi 400 setup. The leftmost port as seen from the back of the Raspberry Pi 400 is the General Purpose Input Output Header. Next to the GPIO header is the Micro SD Card Slot. The micro SD card comes pre-installed in Raspberry Pi 400. You can remove it by pushing gently on the card until it clicks and springs out then pulling it out. The micro SD card is preloaded with Raspbian OS. When you put the card back in the card should slide in with a gentle click. You can start setting up your PC by connecting the mouse to your Pi. To connect the mouse take the USB cable at the end of the mouse and insert it into the white USB port. I recommend saving the high-speed 3.0 USB ports for other accessories. Next, take the micro HDMI cable and connect the smaller end to the micro HDMI port closest to the micro SD slot on your Raspberry Pi 400, and the other end to your monitor or TV. Connect a network cable is optional so, I am skipping that part. Now that everything is ready, we can connect the power supply. First, connect the USB Type-C end of the power supply cable to the USB Type-C power connector on Raspberry Pi. Next, connect the power supply to a main socket and switch the socket on. Raspberry Pi 400 does not have a power switch and will turn on as soon as it is connected to a live power supply. When the Raspberry Pi 400 is switched on, the last LED on the right-hand corner will light up and flickers to show it's working on something. Now your Raspberry Pi 400 personal computer is ready. 